the attacker who will use a well-known, yeah. well-trodden path, phishing, clicker link. Patch. It's more than just phishing or hacking. It's, it's really con artistry. It's fraud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. a whole different subset of skills, which you might see in Notion 11's movie, for example. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting how many here this, this man is uh, apparently dog crazy or whatever. Felt a bit more realistic, maybe. Um, that was weird to me. I, I mean, from, you know, you've obviously <coughs> seen a fair few you sort of phishing attacks. I mean, they are getting pretty smart. And pretty yeah. Personalised now. I mean, um, you know, we've all had many attempts. Some are quite good. Some of them um, are very smart. Yeah. Well, recently, when somebody um, emailed me and posed to somebody else in the organisation, it was very yeah. convincing. Um, and if you weren't thinking, if you were operating fast, it would be easy to fall victim to it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how many here, this, this man mm. is uh, apparently dog crazy or whatever, but it's, it's yeah. interesting how if you focus on what's more psychologically important to the individual, how much more likely they are to click. Yeah. Uh, one we saw recently was uh, DHL. Mm -hmm. We're so used to just ordering stuff online now, whether it be eBay or Amazon. You see anything from DHL and you're kind of going to click on it. I was like, what am I expecting? It's like it, it, we get something delivered what, at least once a week on average. Some people like almost every day, multiple packages a day. So you're just kind of wondering, which order is this? Did I order something I forgot about? And you just kind of go in. Uh, in this case, it was an actual PDF. Um, and it, was, it was interesting because the, um, the return and from emails were actual like dhl.com domains hmm. so i don't know if they're actually just spoofed the headers or if they yeah we see a lot of that frequently we see a lot of the spam campaigns using the spoof domains from yeah. and that's it that's part of the techniques they use but what's interesting actually is the lancaster university i was i was going to mention so that one, yeah. the invoices and, the, and yeah. the pdfs that went out and and they were quite clever with that yeah. because they so they compromised their admission system through supposedly, they said it was, and it was denied, so who knows, but um, they compromised someone's credentials somehow, got access to the admission system. And it wasn't just Lancaster students, because the other students from other universities had it as an alternate choice. And when they went and then targeted those students, international students, because in the UK you'd, all, you'd pay through a loan company anyway, um, but the people abroad, they don't have that, and they actually pay cash. Um, when they targeted the students abroad, they actually changed the invoice depending on uh, if they were now a, a Salford student or an MMU student or an Oxford student or whatever, they actually changed the invoice to have their format, their letterhead, and targeted those people. Wow. So they did take the time, like, you know, if, 
if I applied to Lancaster, but then eventually got into MMU, if I got an invoice from Lancaster, it wouldn't look right. Yeah. But they actually took the time of who did they actually, where did this student actually end up? It's in the admission system that, okay, we're a second choice, but they ended up choosing to go into MMU. Uh, and then they replicated the MMU logo on the invoice. And they, they did get a few that, people to... Uh, that is then, because it's going to get so sophisticated, it would be practically impossible to well, spot. Well, yeah. when I, whenever I talk about the skilled attacker, I talk about that type of approach, right? Not just that type of approach, but the attacker who will use a well-known, yeah. well-trodden path, phishing, clicker link. It's, it's, not being passed. it's more than just phishing or hacking. It's it's really con artistry. It's fraud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. a whole different subset of skills, which you might see in an Ocean Eleven's movie, for example. Yeah, exactly. Outside of the hacking yeah, context, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's always been there, right? Yeah. I, so what amazes me is that people people think all of this stuff is brand new, or the mentality. And we were talking about mentality earlier on about being critical thinkers being innovative and if we don't think the attackers are just as critical thinking or just as innovative or if not more then we're living in a dream world. Yeah absolutely. Yeah. Had a, um, it was a quick one day consultancy thing. It was a medical equipment company and they, I can't remember what it was, wonder suppliers I think in Denmark followed up on an invoice and that's when they realized that the invoice that they got from the medical company for, I think it was 16,000 pounds, and they said this was actually quite a small one for us. They had someone that had compromised their, their business email, which I think was 0365. And they had intercepted the email, deleted it, taken the Word document that was attached with the payment details, edited it, and then with a spoofed email address, resent it and dropped it into their mailbox. And it, it wasn't until I compared both, and it was interesting because at some point I'm like, they forwarded the email, and I was like, no, 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 I need to see the original email so I can look at the headers. They never, so I emailed them, could you send me the original email? They never received that email. Hmm. So the attacker was still in there, and anything pertaining to the investigation, they deleted. Wow. So they were still actively listening and controlling what went through. And it wasn't until... But, but, but it's in the logs, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. So, somebody said to me the other day, well, it's got to be, you, how else can you do detection without the yeah. logs? I'm thinking, I, have, I haven't got enough time or energy yeah. left in my body to, to yeah. well, so you don't some, look at I know somebody it. runs a, a law firm down in Bristol, um, and uh, they had a phone call saying, oh, um, just need to send through this invoice. Can I, can I send it through to you? Is that okay? Yeah. And, and while they're on the phone, I'm just going to send it through to you. All right, and while they were on the phone, I, did you get that? Could you just forward that on to mm. somebody else? And obviously, because the message has been forwarded on, then naturally it the person legitimate. thought, it, they thought, okay, well, this has been forwarded on from somebody, it's not likely to be spam. They said, oh, um, you know, just spoke to Jim, Jim. They said, could you, could you respond to this? And um, it was a very successful phishing attack, and they right. took a huge amount of money yeah. off them as well. And, and, it, and I think that it's getting so sophisticated. Yeah. It's getting so smart now. I ended up having to call these people on the phone and get a personal email so I could actually send the request to the personal email. Then they finally sent me the right information. And I was like, this is what happened. Like, because I noticed I looked at the, they forgot to wipe the document properties on the attachment. And I could see that from the time the email was sent, from my client, to the, it took 22 minutes sort of to get there. And within that 22 minute time frame, there was, in the document properties, there was some editing by some Chinese name, whatever. Um, and yeah, they put in a, a Croatian bank account. But I was tr trying to explain it to him, like, this is what happened. Because these are small businesses, but dealing in medical devices, that it's big money. So small business, low awareness, big money. And they're like, oh yeah, well, that's, oh, that's interesting, because it's not the first time it happened. <laughs> so, so this kind of thing is, this is exactly what happens, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the, this is exactly what happens. People are specifically targeting, you know, specific businesses. Yeah. And, and making it very personal. Yeah, and it, you, like you see it, uh, like conveyance fraud in, in law firms, which yeah. you said is yeah. really, really big because it's you know down payments on houses or the entire value well, of a house when it's a sale. Yeah, because they have to hold the money on behalf of their clients yeah. as well. So there's usually quite a lot of money sat, sat there in the bank yeah. as well. Often. There's one law firm that lost their license over a couple of years ago in the UK, yeah. uh, <laughs> but it's it's quite because I was doing an awareness course for a law firm, uh, I think last summer. And I did some digging in this, and there's, there's a lot. Mm. There's really, really a lot. Mm. And uh, you know, you, 
I always tell them, call them up, you know, like just get a verbal person on the phone just to make double check everything. But now people are starting to take over the phone That's system, right. like mm -hmm. SS, the signal, signaling system, SS7. Yeah. We just rely on it, not realizing it's, it's completely security through obscurity. It's incredibly vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, and if you're dealing with you know, intercepting transactions for hundreds of thousands of pounds, it's totally worth the, the effort of hacking into your local Good exchange. And how, do, how do you cope with that as a, a university? That must be very difficult because obviously you've got all of the student mail accounts, you've got all these endpoints. I mean, yeah. how, how on earth do you cope with there's, that? There's, there's a lot. Yeah, be, we have we have um, yeah we have a lot of uh, a lot of account compromise operational stuff ruling out MFA now that cuts down a lot on that. Um, there's an awareness piece. I mean, culturally, they're not employees. We, yeah, exactly. every, everyone exactly. for us. So it's is, not that you could do the awareness piece on them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> everyone for us is a customer, whether they be right. students. And then they change every flipping year, of course. They're, you know, <laughs> they're, they're not employees. They're paying us to be there. So we right. don't really get to boss them around. We have to yeah. provide a service yeah. for them. Yeah. So everyone's they're a, your a customer. Yeah, in a way, <laughs> they are. Um, and then we you know we have academics, and then we have you know, more regular employees, but the culture is always one of, of open and sharing and there's a staff directory with every email, every function, every phone extension. It's like, yeah. And you get you get very, very targeted. And we do notice that, you know, people doing research in oil and gas or something lucrative, like they get hit far more than the average right. Joe. Yeah. Uh, by, so it is it is very, very targeted. And we're trying to um, they get hit enough that you can make, quite quickly make it personally you know, more relatable to them, which is a good thing. So we, we do educate, we do have certain, you know, okay, we've got 20, 30,000 people in the university, but we've got maybe 100 people that are quite critical in research and administrative and finance roles. Um, they get targeted quite heavily, uh, but you know, that's 0.3% of our total population. So we do have the time to kind of one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. go in and educate them and they, we can point things like this was actually targeted at you. This is not something out there. This is this is you. So that that does wake people up a bit. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah. it's slow progress. And when you do have like a Lancaster incident, that's a good opportunity for yeah. comms. Yeah, that's um, you. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it brings yeah. it really home. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I can't I can't afford to train everyone. First of all, plus mm. you know we have people coming and leaving all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, eighty, 80 yeah. percent of our user population is in the door and out the door a couple of years yeah. later. So it's hard enough getting people to attend lectures. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 But but I think the, you go going back to going back to that clip. The only thing that concerned me in that clip is obviously it's well done. It's well structured to show how you can gain information about somebody without actually being that skilled in it, right? Mm -hmm. The skill comes in the application of that information, the yeah. use of it. The only thing that made me wonder about that is the guy had security on his on his desktop. Yeah, was a bit mm -hmm. Supposedly in security. Right. There's not many that I know who are experienced security people who would even think of being yeah. duped by that type of thing, no matter what pressure they were under, you mm -hmm. know, it's just Obviously, I know it's again. It's for dramatic effect. But now, did, did I see right that she was trying to access his webcam so she could read what was on the board? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The computer was here and it was and written on this wall. <laughs> so first of all, I don't know. And the other question I've always wondered: some laptops, I, I believe this one has it, uh, or maybe not, a little LED next to the camera to tell yeah. my back. My MacBook has that, and I've always wondered: yeah. is that LED part of the physical circuit to the camera? Or is it controlled through some logic, some software? Could I enable the camera without the light coming on? Potentially, mm. yeah. And despite that, I think audio, tapping into the audio, which would be much harder to notice, probably get more information, yeah. far more information. And no one's covering up their speakers or their microphone. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, actually, it's, 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 like the, um, it's like the iOS floor. Isn't it? That was there you go, uh, hackers. There's a bit of yeah. a tip for you there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the NSA had it yeah. years before anybody else on the late. I think it was the last version of the iOS where they could switch the yeah. the mic on and, and and the camera, but it was the mic was more important. Yeah, the face and they used it yeah. to great extent around uh, certain different geographical regions. Let's say. Yeah, because everyone gets freaked out about. Oh my God, someone can see me doing something personal mm -hmm. on the computer. Yeah. Um, but no one really thinks about the audio part. I mean, we share far more information. Like Alexa listening to you. Yeah. 
which we do willingly now. It's amazing. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, 20 years ago, I remember, like, you know, the Five Eyes and the, the Seven Eyes or Seven, whatever, I forget, the Seven Nations that were doing all the surveillance, spending billions trying to collect money, uh, uh, information on people. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you give them Facebook and they just volunteer mm -hmm. all of okay. it. Right. And you put, you put a, you it's know, the way it's framed, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You remember, like, yeah. not even that long ago, Enemy of the State with Will Smith, like, yeah, yeah. entire teams to go in and mic up the house. It's like, just gift him an Alexa. Which is done. Which those films always make me laugh, right? I've seen something recently which was very similar, um, where they supposedly can see you from a satellite and get yeah. that type of uh, resolution imagery. They may be able to do it now, but I. Like, I remember watching Enemy of the State with a colleague who's one level above me, but a different site, and we, we watched it together. And he was a former NSA guy. And uh, at the end of the movie, he's like 99% accurate. The only thing you can't do is retask a satellite that fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that yeah, depicting, you know, chases, bugging houses, breaking into yeah. everything, it's just amazing. <laughs> but they don't need to do that anymore. So just right. listen to your Alexa. And you actually just, like sign the consent form that they can listen to whatever you say to Alexa for, for QA. And everyone's fine with it.